the one that Mike put out, right? Um, early on the 21st, I should do it in Nazi accent, but uh, that uh, it's just going <laughs> to read it in my accent, which is um, even stupider than the Nazi accent, if you can imagine such a thing. Anyway, early on the 21st of December 2018, right-wing UK news blog, Politic, was that Politicalite, whatever the fuck that is, accused me of supporting a young man in publishing the home address of Stephen Yaxley Lennon, otherwise known as Tommy Robinson. This was an article posted by Jordan James, which again, isn't the real name. They don't tend to use their names. Anyway, the article was at, also attempted to link said leak to a supposed Osman letter that he received that warned of an imminent threat of violence from left-wing activists. The article has now been shared over 500 times, and that figure will rise. I feel the need to respond here. One... The young man accused of publishing Tommy Robinson's address did no such thing. That's the important thing here. He didn't. Right? They merely made an observation regarding the value of his home, in contrast to his working class front. There was no information that wasn't already published by the media. Two, of course I support anyone criticising Tommy. The man's a thug, a menace and a grifter. Well done, young man. Again, he's, he's pointing out to the, the young chap in whose family Tommy had harassed during the week. Three, I couldn't give a rat's ass where Tommy lives. I hope what the guy does, sorry, I hate what the guy does, but I would never release his personal information. That is simply off limits. Four, this is despite my own details being freely available online. Care of a doxing that took place in mid-2017. Because yet, uh, uh, Mike was doxed by uh, some far-right garbage uh, last year, um, threatening his family and his uh, own safety. With garbage. Yeah. You'll need to scroll down now, Christy. Got it. And if I whisper, they won't hear. <laughs> That's how it works. Anyway. You should do ASMR. My only ASMR video was me burping. <laughs> um, That's actually true. I posted that on my Facebook and my Twitter because I'm, I'm a classy guy. Anyway. um, uh, Where are we? Four. I can count. Four. This is despite my own detail. Oh, no. I, I can't fucking count. Five. I find the whole business highly hypocritical since Tommy, quote unquote, has made a career of traveling hundreds of miles to doorstep his critics when they point out his distortions and fabrications. Their details are then distributed on social media, enabling considerable intimidation and harassment. That's true, especially when he worked for Rebel Media. He literally went to people's houses, uh, knowing his friends would dox them senseless as well, uh, and of course using the fact that he knew their address as a threat to the people. And uh, yeah, literally just knock on their door in the middle of the night. And demand answers based on some fucking social media posts. He's garbage, and he's been doing this for years. Uh, six. How Tommy even claimed to have my details in a live stream last night, as if threatening to disclose them. Yeah, that's what he does. He uses them as a sword of Damocles, saying, I've got your ducks. Mm -hmm. And also, if he's not interested in ducks in people, uh, Tommy, why does he continuously have the ducks of people who are critical of him? Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's strange that he's always got the ducks of everyone he doesn't like. Hmm. Very strange. Seven, furthermore, I am aware of those who have had to either move, go into therapy, or even take their own lives, directly influenced by the intimidation of Tommy and his followers. In fact, I spoke at the funeral of one of these people. That's true. One of Tommy's um, suicide victims uh, uh, Mike attended the, uh, the funeral of. There you go. Ultimately, if Tommy or those surrounding him think that making false, allegate, false accusations on social media is going to shut me up or threatening to doorstep me, they're very much mistaken. I am simply expressing my freedom of speech in calling him what he is, a racist, a thug, and a PayPal patriot. Wow. Nice. Well done. Is nice. Yeah. And I think very that's well it was worth reading that out because yeah. uh, just exposing Tommy for what he is, which is um, a nasty little troll, both in uh, demeanor and stature. I think that sums it up well. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, now now we've got that now. Out of the, God, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm so I'm so angry, I can't even speak. Jesus. Well, you were reading so well, and then when it came to free, uh, freestyling, you kind of fell apart. Well, I can I also reading... hear myself a lot, so maybe turn the speakers down a bit. Okay, one second. Um, yeah, uh, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I, I could read perfectly well, because I was reading... I was reading lyric there. I was reading the words of a great poet. Whereas when I have to think with my brain, it's, yeah, that's not good. You can tell when someone takes time to write something like this because, you know, one, he's got points, and two, it's organized in a very, you know, um, 
deliberate way. And he's got his little things like, oh, of course, I like how he does this a couple times, which is like, no, okay, my docs are out there. I don't want Tommy's docs out there, but, you know, I live with having my docs out there. And, you know, we shouldn't dox him, but he do door stops other people and just pointing out his hypocrisy without just calling him, you know, like just the whole thing ranting on what a hypocrite he is, just laying out the facts very calmly. Very nice. Is, is Roy Katz demanding more stuff now? Um, well, he came through doors? the back and then wanted to come out the front door. No, during the summer, <laughs> I just have the doors open so we can come and go, but it's freezing. So I've got the doors closed and he squeaks to get out. So, yes. 